In this video, we will compare average speed from average velocity. By definition, the average speed of an object over a given time interval is the length of the path it travels divided by the total elapsed time. Mathematically, average speed equals path length in meter over elapsed time in second. Small letter v is the symbol we used to denote average speed. The path length is the length of the actual path traversed between two points. It is similar to the distance traveled that we have discussed from the previous video. So take note that the distance traveled is also the path length traveled between two points. Next, the average velocity during a time interval delta t is the displacement delta x divided by delta t. Mathematically, average velocity is equal to delta x or displacement over delta t or change in time. It is also equivalent to final position minus initial position divided by the final time minus initial time. To denote the average velocity, we are using a small letter v with a bar above it. Let us now differentiate average velocity and average speed. Remember that these two quantities are not equal. Let's say for example, if you run from 0 meter to 25 meters and back to your starting point in a time interval of 5 seconds, the average velocity is 0, whereas the average speed is 10 meters per second. How did we come up with that conclusion? Based on this problem, you are here at 0 meter. Let's say that is x sub 1. Then from here, you run up to 25 meters. Let's say that is x sub 2. Then you run back to your starting point. That means your initial and final positions are just the same. x sub i is equal to 0 meter and x sub f is also 0 meter. The time interval is 5 seconds and that is delta t. To solve for your average velocity, we use the formula average velocity is equal to delta x over delta t or that is equal to 0 meter over 5 seconds. So your average velocity is 0. There is no displacement because there is no change in position. However, your average speed is equal to 10 meters per second. Why? Let us apply the formula of the average speed. Average speed is equal to path length over elapsed time. The path length here is the distance you traveled from this point up to this point and going back to your starting position. That means your path length is twice of 25 meters or 50 meters. The elapsed time is 5 seconds. Dividing 50 meters by 5 seconds, we solved 10 meters per second. Did you see the difference now? Ask me a question if you have any clarification. We will solve an example in the next video.